It is Tecmo Tuesday, and it is time to play our next game. This is uh, after a bye week. Well, I mean, I didn't take a week off like I did last season because the bye was so freaking early in the rotation. I'm going to do the same thing as I did last year where I'll take my real bye at the midway point and do the whole, you know, highlight reel. So let's take a quick look at the standings here. Buffalo is now 4-0, and we are tied with Miami in second place. Uh, we're at 2-1, the Jets at 2-2. Two two. Bengals and Steelers 3-1 each, with the Oilers and Browns at 2-2. Two two. Raiders and Broncos are 2-2 two two each at the top of the West. Eagles and Cowboys 3-0. Vikings running away with the Central at the moment at 4-0, with a nice two-game lead over everybody. And the Falcons are 3-1. <clears throat> Much to... Uh, much to my surprise. But anyway, we'll be playing Hey Hey Tampa Bay. We had them in the uh, final week last season. So, oh shit, there was a tie. I think the Eagles and Cowboys just tied. <clears throat> that, as you would happen to see how Buffalo beats Miami. So Buffalo's still undefeated. They're 5-0. and oh. Damn. And Atlanta is now 3-2 and two after a loss. 49ers got beat by the Rams. So the 49ers are 2-3. and three. <clears throat> Definitely a different season this time around than a, than a normal Tecmo, uh, you know, like with regular Tecmo Super Bowl. This uh, this is interesting to say the least. Oh yeah, and since this is the fourth game, I know it's week five, but since this is the since this is the fourth game, well, let me check my starters here, make sure I don't I didn't. Uh, all right, so yeah, double check and make sure I didn't put backups in after the week. All right, we got Bill Brooks back. I mean, you know, he's just a return guy now, but you know, he could be good. Oh, and Reggie Cobb who I guess was hurt for Tampa, is coming back. So all hands on deck. After this game, I'll check out the you know league leaders and the stats and get a pretty good look at things. Uh, see how we stack up statistically with the rest of the league. We played these guys in the season finale, which got us to the playoffs. We had to win. Otherwise, we would have lost. It been one of those ten and six teams that didn't make it. That that's always a real kick in the nuts when you you know you win ten out of sixteen and you and it's still not good enough. Oh, he's going deep. All right, nice job there. I had to leave that one up to the drone. He let the guy get behind him. Oh, wow, all right, I, I thought that I was going to uh, get outrun there. It looked like it was going to be a problem. Uh oh he's got some receivers. Yeah, I knew he was going to go to him. Ah, oh, toss, he makes the catch. I had him well covered. Didn't matter. Ah, shit, he broke the tackle, but I got some help. <clears throat> a little help from my friends. Oh, nice defense there up by the front, by the front line. <laughs> Where was he going with that one? All right, that gets us a stop there. Uh, first drive, you know, it was, that was a big killer last year, and it was getting off to rough starts. It didn't detract me from from kicking off every time I won the toss, though. I did not want, and I always want to have the ball to start the second half. And I like the chance, you know, taking the shot at, uh, at going for the double dip. Alright, let's see what we can do with the offense in this one. Alright, making some guys miss. Nice completion and pickup on that one. Alright, first down. Guys, well covered. But Hess 
least there was open in the middle. Ah, uh, they saw that one coming. They saw that one coming. Um, alright, let's try pass one. Cash. Nicely done. That was a good drive. I'm not sure, um, I want to say that Tampa was just about as bad in 92 as they were in 90, 91, like that whole era they were in the early to mid 90s, they were, they didn't really get much better until Dungey came along. Oh shit, I took a bad angle there, but he started going east-west. Alright, they converged on that one as well. Oh man, I'm not moving much with them in here. I am not. Can't rest defenders. They, you know, it's always the same 11 guys. They don't get hurt. Oh, shit! Just over the defender. Damn it, Vincenzo. I always seem to get I, uh, better cracks at the extra point blocks than I did uh, with them last year. For what that's worth. All right, we haven't given the ball to Johnson much. Let's, uh, we, you know, Culver's been hogging the limelight here. And, uh, sorry, Anthony, but, uh, first play, the line completely falls apart. Now we're at second and long. Oh, shit, here they come again! Oh, I hit the damn pass button, but just a split second too late. Now look at this shit. Third in a country mile. We've converted shit like this, though, uh, before. Foghorn. Yes! And we will convert again. He's been the deep threat this year so far. You know, like the... <clears throat> I'm not... I'm still not sure if, you know, I'd say that we're... We're racking up a ton of yards and points and all that shit, but... Um... You know, with the exception of that first game against Cleveland where we, you know, we did really well offensively. Um... But, you know, it's, I, I, it definitely feels like there's more splashy plays. Uh, there's been more of those splashy plays on offense. But I, I don't know, maybe it's just... Maybe it's mostly just based off of that game. Maybe it's mostly off, off of that game that I'm thinking. <clears throat> the, the stats may be higher. You know, it was last year the ball was kind of spread out. Amongst Hester and Brooks and uh, Beach. Oh shit, Cobb is breaking through. Cobb is breaking through. Oh, I thought that I was gonna miss him. Like it felt. Uh, he dove and he hadn't gotten to him yet. And I was like, oh shit, he's gonna keep going. But like just at the last like frame of his slide, he managed to uh, to, to catch him by the ankles. All right, so here we go. End of the end of the half here. We gotta stand up to him. Ah, uh, see, uh, they have a good playbook. <clears throat> it's it, it when either of the Cobb runs or the McDowell. They, they those three plays runs one, two, and four have a very similar uh, sequence at the very beginning. And I keep thinking it's a handoff up the middle. It's like three out of the four plays look like that, but one of them, the first run one, that's a that's a fake, and he pitches at the Cobb, and then if I'm if if everybody's up here in the middle, and uh, see, I, I I was I was anticipating the fake. I thought they were gonna pitch it to Cobb, and then and I'm I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of that play. Oh, they're gonna kick a field goal. 
wouldn't say I'm afraid of the play, but, um... Alright, you got it. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of that play, but he did get a lot of yards on that one uh, run. So, it, it it is a threat. Especially if I buy the fake. But I was... It's funny, because I did the opposite, where I... I was expecting the fake, so I was faked out by no fake whatsoever. It's kind of like if you play a practical joke on somebody, like you, uh... <clears throat> if you're notorious for pranking somebody in particular and they... are expecting it. You know, they're... They're just sitting around and 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 it's gnawing at them. They're they're waiting for you to to do something and then you never do. That tense that uh, you know that tense anticipation and anxiety is turns out to be the actual joke. Ah, Culver's down. Damn it. It's what happens when you feed him too much, you know. So we'll go with Clark. And, uh, you know, let's give it to Johnson now. A touchdown would be nice on this drive. Get us a nice, uh... 11-point uh, lead. And go back to Johnson again. Put the other way. Alright. Uh, let's do pass two. Oh, yeah. You know, it was like they were all so open that I figured I'd go with Langhorn because he was, uh... Every now and again, you throw it to the end zone and it goes just, like, past the back of the end zone into the, into the ground. It's just a little bit overthrown. I didn't... I, I wanted to ensure that I had the completion and there wasn't anybody near him, so... I figured... It was the best percentage uh, catch, and it was almost a certainty he would take it to the end zone with it. Oh, uh, he's got some guys open, and Carrier is the one he went to. Of course, not the one that I was, who I was uh, covering. Alright, we saw that one coming. Uh oh, he's got Darcy. He's got Darcy. I got a little, uh... Indecisive back there as to where I was gonna go. Who I was gonna cover, and... In the process... I got smoked. You know, I haven't been controlling anybody in the secondary, I noticed, uh, much so far this season. I think I might change that up, because I, you know, like, those, it seems like that's been their biggest threat, are those deep passes. Let's give Clark a crack at the ball. Go past three. Jesse Hester. Uh, made too many... I, I juked my way right into the tackle, but hey, nice, nice uh, play at the end of the day. Hester's been the man today. And now he's hurt. God damn it. You know, this would have been 
a nice week right before the bye. At least Brooks is able to come in. He's a, at least he's a good replacement. But, damn. First Culver, now uh, Hester. Right, let's pound the rock. Yeah, that's a good run there, John. I couldn't, I don't know why I stumbled on my words there. Like, that's a good pause. What well, was that a good? It's a good play, good run, a good call. All of the above. Touchdown, that's what that was. 28-17, things are looking good right now. But, I have given up Double digit leads late before. Ready, down. Hunt, 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 hunt. Mm, I'm definitely I'm calling passes here because, and I'm gonna play as a you know I'm gonna play as a safety. <laughs> and I also let that guy get behind me. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. That was the I played safety in Pop Warner. It was I didn't um, and you know I, I played a couple years and that was the thing is you don't let the fucking guy get behind you. Not that I had to defend too many passes. It was like just run central every freaking play just about. But you know when, in the event of a pass, you don't let them get behind you. And there was that pitch that I was waiting for. And, he, you know, that was the, th that was the thing I said. And he's going to get the touchdown out of it. <clears throat> I said I wasn't afraid of the play, that I was just, I knew it was a threat. And, you know, it's like I should have been afraid of it. I should have been looking for it. I was, I, I, you know, it's like the, the passes was what I was most afraid of. Because those are the big plays that they got for the most part. Are they gonna kick it onside? No, they're just gonna kick it short. All right, so we just gotta we just gotta run out the clock here. And look at this—we're gonna get excellent field position on top of it. That was bad on all fronts for them. Bad decision. I, I know it's like might as well kick it onside if you're gonna give up the field position. I probably wouldn't even have this good of a spot. So now I'm gonna let it tick. Well, until they call timeout anyway. Uh, go up the middle with Johnson. Oh, you know, I probably shouldn't have. I, in case I fumble, I probably ought to be on the sideline. But there's a first down. To the ground I go. Right, yeah, I'm going sideline to Clark. And they knew I was going to do that. They knew it. <clears throat> so, it is, uh, you know, if I... If I if I go field goal, if I can go, if they hold me to a field goal, they'll still have a chance to tie it with a touchdown. I just, I don't want to go out of bounds, because I want the clock to tick as long as it can, so to 109, and I don't want, um, alright, I'm going to pass it this time. I didn't want to fumble it either. There we go. That, that, that'll do it. I gotta watch out on these extra points. They're not automatic in this game. They're auto, they're, they're basically automatic in Tecmo. In regular Tecmo. You, you can't miss extra points. Uh, maybe with the worst kicker in the game, you could if you go, but, but, but that arrow, you know, I've mentioned it before, the accuracy meter is, uh, it, it, it goes further off to the side than it does in regular Tecmo. Alright, uh, let's go home. <clears throat> nice victory. Nice passing. Jeff George did not throw a single incompletion. How about that? 208 yards and uh, a few.
few touch. I want to say I, I lost track of how many touchdowns he threw. Um, running game wasn't so bad, you know, 78 yards rushing, but uh, you know it was. We moved the ball, and that was all that counted. We were we were exactly explosive, but you know, 208 yards is pretty good in Tecmo, and like I said, 100% completion. So George was very, very accurate today. And we didn't make any mistakes. We didn't uh, fumble it. We didn't throw picks. But injury bug caught us. So let's hope we can get guys healthy for next week. All right. So we'll simulate the. Well, there's only one more game left. Oh, there's two games left. Raiders and Giants and Cardinals and Redskins. Funny. The, so this is a Super Bowl rematch from. Uh, well, from 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 Tecmo season one. Our Tecmo season one. Uh, but this game the, between the Raiders and Giants, that the, when this game really happened, uh, it was so. I, as you know, I'm a Raiders fan. You may or may not know I'm a Raiders fan. This is the first season '92. For the first season, I started watching football and really paying attention to it, really following it. And uh, I've told the story before. My stepdad's a Giants fan. He was more or less, you know, the guy that got me into football. And First four weeks of the season, the Raiders lose all four of them. So we get to this Raiders Giants game, and the Raiders uh, pull off a comeback. They were down ten, and then they they won. And it was, so it was the first Raider game that I saw them win. Uh, it was at the expense of my stepdad, and I believe Phil Sims got hurt for the season in that game. Anyway, the Raiders win that one too, and the. Uh, the Redskins beat the Cardinals. So now let's take a look at the standings and then we'll take a look at the stats. So, you know, we got a win. That's all well and good. Dolphins lose, but the Bills win again, as we saw, and they're 5-0. and They have a, well, shit, it's essentially a two-and-a-half game lead in the standings. Plus, they beat us, so they have that tie break. Although, actually, they don't have that tie break. The tie break is the point differential. But they've got that too. Oh wow, that's actually a really close point differential. We were really close on that point differential with them last year too. I want you know toward the end, it didn't end up mattering. <clears throat> Bengals and Steelers are both three and one. Uh, Oilers and Browns are both two and two and hanging in there. AFC West is uh is is a you know it's it, it's a bit of a race I, I know it's only five games in four or five games in depending on the division but you got raiders broncos at three and two and the Chargers right behind them at two and three the eagles and cowboys they just you know it's like nobody wanted to take the you know the lead in the east or at least nobody wanted to give up the lead and relinquish it eagles and cowboys tied each other and that's going to make the standings look weird Vikings are five and zero. Oh. Man, they are just uh, you know, uh, with the exception of that NFC Championship last year, like they going back to the playoffs and the toward the end of the season, I think they were six and seven, maybe maybe even five and seven, if I'm not mistaken. But they had a huge winning streak, and that continues with the exception of that one playoff loss. And then <clears throat> Falcons are three and two. They they won the first three, dropped two in a row. This is anybody's division right now as well, except maybe the Saints. So that is uh, where we stand right now with the standings. The league leaders. Now we had a bye, so you know, as far as stats with total yardage and total touchdowns and all that, not going to be. Uh, you know, we have the disadvantage, but Jeff George is up top with a. 258.1 quarterback rating. That is fucking impossible. You cannot exceed, I think it's 158.3, but I'm not 100% sure. Tecmo has its own weird rating system. But 774 yards, 12 touchdowns, no picks. I have these no interceptions this season. And he has the highest average, 220 yards per throw. And a 72 completion percentage. That is excellent. Uh, scoring. 
Thurman Thomas is up top. Let's see if any of our guys... Reggie Langhorn. He has 36 points and 6 touchdowns. It will tied with uh, 5 for 5th. So there's quite a few guys that are in that... Uh, they're in that range, but Thurman, Thurman, Thurman Thomas, that's his fucking name, uh, is way up at the top right now. Interceptions, yeah, we don't really get a lot of those. Look at this, three Saints, oh, it's, it, it's all just, you know, one pick. But, uh, yeah, yeah it, we don't really have a lot of that in uh, the turnover department. Punt return average. Verdon is at eighth place with 12 yard average. Kickoff returns. Verdon again. But the 18 yard uh, return average. I thought that I. Yeah, oh, yeah, because I had moved him. So, so yeah, Verdon is on there, but I also have yeah Clark returning. He returned a couple of punts. I thought I kind of switched it up, but you know I don't know. We'll see what the hell. Uh, sacks. We have nobody, and that's my. A lot of that's because I don't. You know, rush the defenders up the middle. It breaks the game. It's too easy to get sacks if you, you know, if you go up straight up the middle, especially with that little dive technique right off the bat. You can, you know, it's it's too easy. I, I'm not, I don't touch that shit. So I go by the Tecmo rule, uh, tournament rule. You cannot uh, rush up the middle. Ron Stark is not on here. You know what? I don't, I might not have been held to any punts yet. He has one punt for a 40-yard average. I'm, I'm mistaken. That's pretty good uh, offense if, you know, your punter only has one punt in four games. Uh, you know, Bracken for the Rams, he's only has two. Reggie Roby for the uh, Dolphins only has two. And then more for the Bills. Big surprise there. That offense is clicking two punts for him. Rushing, I mean, we're definitely not going to be toward the top of this, that's for sure. You know, they got <laughs> Eric Dickerson is eighth. Is you know, he's like, yeah, I wish that he was he rushed that well when he went. That was the beginning of the end for him when he went to the Raiders. And yeah, like I like I expected, we don't have anybody in the top thirty for rushing and and for receiving. This is uh, receptions first. Kerry Cash has the most on our team with 10. So how about yards? It's got to be Langhorn's got to be up there. Or at least like the he's got to have the most on the team. No, Cash again. Wow. Just double check and make sure I didn't miss anything. No, Kerry Cash is the uh, leader and so now rankings too let's see where we are in uh so total offense we're ranked 22nd 17th in the pass and 21st in the run so you know an average offense uh as far as yardage goes but you know one thing that we do is we don't make a lot of mistakes <clears throat> and we score on our drives uh we have the second ranked defense in the league best in against the pass and 14th against the run. That is right there. We definitely weren't the top-rated passing defense. And we sure as hell weren't in the middle of the pack with the rushing defense. That one, we were way at the fucking bottom. But then again, this is actually... Having a bye does help with defensive stats because that's a whole game that you weren't giving up yards. So, you know, this will, we'll see how this goes later on. Like I said, that, uh, you know, like blowing away the Browns in that first week probably helped out our stats a lot. So next week we take on the Jets, and I'll never forget that freaking, uh, that game with the, against the, that first game against the Jets last year where we fucked up. That was on me. I, I swapped quarterbacks when, you know, it was like, uh, yeah, I checked the player condition, which is something I 
Otherwise, it never did. Oh, excuse me. Yawn. And then it all went to shit. But anyway, that's so that's the first quarter of the season's stats, standings, and uh, and rankings. So that is the end of this one. We'll see you next week when we take on the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. So see you next time.